hello guys so welcome to another video today where i'm going to be showing you how you can completely uninstall microsoft edge from your windows pc in case you're running windows 10 you should know already that microsoft edge is the default browser that comes with every windows pc and a lot of people actually prefer to use google chrome for so many other reasons but today i'm just going to show you the step-by-step -step process which you can be able to uninstall microsoft edge from your pc and i know it's a little bit tricky and i'm going to show you why in a few minutes so let's get into it first we want to come to the settings go to settings and then when you go to settings you want to look for this application categories and underneath you'll see uninstall defaults optional and features so we're just going to click on it and down here you're going to see a list of all the applications currently installed on your pc and all you need to do is to screw down and look for microsoft edge now this is the reason why it is a little bit tricky because if you click on other application you have the option to uninstall those application but when it comes to microsoft edge the option is a little bit grayed out it, in other words you cannot uninstall it using the traditional way to uninstall an application so i'm going to show you what you need to do so what we need to do is to close this page and now we're going to follow these steps first open any folder any folder we do or you just go to file explorer and now you want to go to this pc go to look at this c right click and open and now you have to locate program files x86 double click and now you're going to look for microsoft so you go to microsoft and double click you look for edge which is the first one double click again applications and now in this uh, particular place you're going to find that there there's a file with a number in you know yours can be a little bit different the number can be different in yours all you need to do is to click on it and you want to go to installer and then you will come to this page now if you've gotten to this page good job the next thing you need to do is to come over here and backspace to delete that because we want to type in something else type in cmd and press enter it's going to open this window and what you want to do is this i've already placed it the path in the description below so you can just copy that you'll see something like this now you want to copy this the second one i'm going to copy ctrl c i'll minimize this and i'll minimize this as well and then you have to paste it here and press enter so you just have to you know go through all the promptings i'll click on yes and you can see now that it's already working on it now you see it's showing working on it that means the windows is being uninstalled at this moment and if you can read in this place it says uninstall force uninstall so all you have to do is to wait for the process to complete and microsoft edge will be gone now if i should maximize the page you can see it says force uninstall system level so microsoft edge has been uninstalled at a system level so you can see microsoft edge is already uninstalled from your pc so if you come to the start you see that it is it is showing that microsoft edge is here because it is a default uh, windows application but if you click on it it's not going to open that is because it has already been uninstalled in the system so if you come to the start and go to the application list you will see microsoft edge is listed but the icon has disappeared as well as the icon on this bar so if you click on microsoft edge you will notice that it tries to open but it no longer opens that is because 
all the files necessary to run Microsoft Edge has been uninstalled. So that is how you can be able to get rid of Microsoft Edge. But I would like to advise also that before you uninstall Microsoft Edge, make sure you have an alternative browser like I have here, I have the Google Chrome. And that's it guys. So if you have any question, please leave it in the comment section below. If it worked for you, then please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get notified of my next video. So bye for now.